Anywhere you look on YouTube, you'll find many character guides, including mine, by the way. But all of these guides show you the optimal teams. And as such, you may never get idea as a new player of how you can utilize all the free characters that Genshin gives you. You don't have all those optimal characters right off the bat. And you know what? You don't need them for 99% of all the content in the game. So today, we're going to build teams for every single elemental reaction, but with only free to play characters. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we build and test every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. Also, I'd like to preface this video with two things. Number one, this video is not for min-maxers. If you're a min-maxer, listen to me carefully. The only characters that you should build are Zhang Ling, maybe Beidou, but probably not, Sing Cho, Fischl, Bennett, Sucrose, maybe Rosaria, but probably not, Kuki, and pretty much that's it. As far as four stars, you can build those and ignore all the rest of them, maybe for the occasional niche team here and there, depending on what team, but you might not even need to build all of those, and you definitely just want to completely ignore everyone else if you're a min-max. But I don't think that's the most fun way to play Genshin Impact. I think when you're first starting out, you should try out a lot of different teams. And so that's the point of this video is to show free-to-play teams that can give you a handle on different elemental reactions. Now that brings me to preface two. When I say that you should build these teams, I don't mean that you should build these characters, or at least not fully. All the teams I'm going to talk about today are just sort of think of them as trial teams. They're teams you take out into the open world when you're early AR. You maybe take these characters to level 40, but not really that much far beyond. You may throw, slap on the artifacts that they have that you get throughout the game but you're not going to build a whole ton of artifacts on top of that. Now, if you're past that point in the game, that doesn't mean this video is useless to you because you can still get an idea of the bare bones of all the different reactions that are possible and the baseline teams that make up them. And it kind of expands out from there. We might do a different video on the best teams for every reaction. Finally, there's three reactions that we won't be covering in this video. Number one is burning. It's really bad. It's basically going to hurt you more than you hurt the enemy. Number two is Burgeon. There really just aren't very good free-to-play ways of doing Burgeon. Well, there's free-to-play, but not non-gotcha ways. And Bloom. It's just not very strong. But without further ado, let's get into it. Teams are generally built around elemental reactions. So I'm going to go down the list of every single one and give you some sample teams for you to try out with each one. I'm also going to give you a little demo, show you how to play it, some tips to get the most out of it, and some options for new characters that will enhance the teams if you tend to like them. The purpose of this guide is to get you trying out many different teams as that really is the fun of Genshin Impact and get you starting to build teams on your own. You shouldn't look at this guide and say hey those are the teams that I strive to build but you should try them out and then mix and match and see what else you can come up with by yourself. But first of all let's talk about all the characters that you get for free. The first one is Amber. We won't actually be talking about her a lot in this guide as if you've used Amber too much most people realize that she's not that great. Even if you're a brand new player you generally get the feeling that she's mostly there to be your torchlighter and that's about it. That's not that she's unusable though but mostly she's just good for raw ranged pyro damage damage, and again for lighting torches. Kaya is your staple free-to-play cryo character. Lisa for all the electro-related reactions, which have gotten a lot better since Dendro. Kale for your Dendro needs. Zhang Ling, probably the strongest free character that's given out. Barbara, who's extremely underrated for new players. Noelle, who you get guaranteed from wishing on the beginner banner. And finally, this guide is going to include Bennett. The reason being is actually not because he's on the Star Glitter shop, as I won't be including characters like Beta or Fischl on this list, but because he's actually actually given for free in patch 4.0. And if you're watching this in the future and you missed that event, don't worry, he is on the Star Glitter Shop, so you can always get him from there. So let's make functional teams with each elemental reaction. Starting off with actually a mono team, well known as Mono Pyro. This team consists of no Noel, Bennett, Xiangling, and Lynette. You can also trade Lynette for Animo main character if you prefer. This team functions by doing a lot of pyro damage. You're gonna have Bennett buffing both your Noel and your Xiangling. You're gonna have Lynette. Ideally, as you move along in your game, you're gonna wanna put her on the four piece Viridus Inventor set. It doesn't really matter what the stats are, but ideally you would get her on this set. Shang Ling, basically for early game, you want to get her on as much energy recharge as possible. If you want to be using her early on, you could even consider crafting the prototype Star Glitter to give her energy recharge and just giving her any artifacts that have any amount of ER. That's the main thing you're going to want. Bennett also wants a lot of ER and you want to make sure you're leveling up his weapon, unlike I've been doing apparently. And Noel, you're going to build for damage. For early game, you mostly focus on attack. To play this team, you're going to want to set up your shield with Noel. You're going to want to 
use Bennett to funnel energy into Shang Ling. Use Bennett's burst. You want to skill into Shang Ling's burst so that she catches the energy particles. You're going to want to swirl with Lynette and then normal attack with Noelle. Obviously, my Noelle is not doing that much damage because she isn't built just yet, but this is mostly not really to show you exactly how much damage the team does, but to show you how it works. You can look to improve this team in a number of different ways. The biggest one by swapping Lynette for Kazuha eventually. He'll be really amazing for grouping and his buff buffs all the pyro damage on the team when he swirls it. Bennett and Shangling are going to stay here forever and Noel can be replaced by Linny, Klee, or even Dia to keep the mono pyro nature of this team. Or you can go for a hydro character for Vaporize, which we're going to cover next. Barbara is generally not thought of as a damage dealer, but if you use high investment or if you're just in early game, she is someone that you can use to test out the Vaporize reaction. The rest of the team stays exactly the same as it was before, the difference being that Barbara is going to be the one on field rather than Noel, and she's going to be proccing Vaporize. So basically, you're again going to want to use Bennett to, to funnel energy into Shang Ling, use Shang Ling, use Lynette to swirl. You're actually going to want to do something called a double swirl, but then you'll use Barbara to Vaporize. So I didn't swirl Hydro first. You'll most like what you'll actually want to do is after after applying um, Hydro with Barbara, so maybe with a normal attack, you can go in with Lynette, swirl Pyro, then drop your or Swirl Hydro, sorry, then drop your your Bennett and Shangling stuff at this point where the Swirl has already evaporated. So it's also something you don't need to worry about that much for the overworld to do everything. I'm just telling you, ideally, you want to be able to Swirl Pyro and Hydro, and then you're able to get those vaporizes off. So as you can see, each one of Barbara's charge attacks is actually vaporizing, uh, which is pretty neat. She's not really built for very, very much damage, but it's something that that's actually really cool and something that you can do to be um, on field with Barbara. The next team is very, very similar. It's called a melt team. And on this team, Kaya is going to be the one um, getting the benefits from the reaction. So you want to swirl the cryo. I actually meant to do that differently, but that's okay. We're again going to funnel the energy into this Shang Ling. And then we can use Kaya. Um, similar to the melt team, you're, it's going to be really hard to get cryo swirls is the only difference. You kind of don't need to worry about it as much. Um, you'll basically just want to be using Kaya's skill inside Bennett's circle so that your Kaya can snapshot which means that he's going to get Bennett's buff for the whole duration of his of his burst even if the even if Bennett's circle runs out so that's the, kind of the main thing you want to make sure of and then same thing you'll want to funnel your Bennett into your Xiangling swirl the pyro and then you're going to get some melts with your Kaya again my Kaya isn't super built so it's not like this is going to be doing crazy damage the nice thing is Kaya doesn't have to be on field on this team so you can switch out refresh your Lynette skill so you can always get lots of nice Virtus and Venerar uptime so that's really great the main improvements you can make for this team is swapping out Lynette for another cryo character to make the team a lot easier to play. Someone such as Shen He obviously is going to be great, but for a more free-to-play friendly alternative, Rosaria or even Layla are going to be solid choices, although Layla is a bit redundant with since you already have Bennett, but these are all options you can go for for more melt action. Next is going to be an overloaded team. Overloaded teams are not that popular because most of the time they make it annoying to play. So if we apply Electro, you can see that he is afflicted by pyro so he gets flung back pretty far so you can see how far he's flung back and then it takes quite a bit to chase after him and so you can see how far he's going away and that can be pretty annoying however um, it does do quite a bit of damage especially in the early game so if you're fighting bosses or if you're just you know if you just happen to want to be using these characters together it is an option that you can go for it's definitely not my favorite option in general especially against non-bosses the team that this will actually turn into in the long run is actually an over vape team over Overloaded isn't usually ran all by itself. When you get Singcho and eventually Raiden, this will make up what's called Raiden National, which is Overloaded, which we just talked about, and Vaporize, which we talked about before. So this is kind of the fully evolved form of the Overloaded team, and you actually are getting a fair bit of damage from Overloaded's, but even more from Vaporize's, Electro Charges, and you're just getting a lot of elemental reactions, a soup of elemental reactions, if you will. And speaking of, of Vaporize, I don't believe we talked about the upgraded versions. Barbara will obviously end end up going into someone stronger like Ayato or Child, but you can also just change into Singcho and Lynette can go into generally Sucrose. But if you are using Child here, you can change this into Kazwa and this is, ends up being your national team. It is probably this one of the stronger versions of Vaporize. You can also trade your off-field Pyro for an on-field Pyro like Hu Tao or Yoimiya and this makes a different kind of Vaporize team. Next, we're going to look at Freeze. 
Freeze, in my opinion, is one of the coolest reactions in the game, pun intended. And I really like it just for how fun it is, to be honest. We are, and you can see we're using just the free characters, and we can just get this such such a nice freeze with no with the character essentially being fully locked, unable to move. And it's great because Barbara can keep them applied with with Hydro as long as you're um, constantly refreshing her skill. You can even use her on the sacrificial fragment weapon to make sure that she has lots of uptime on her skill. And this is just a way that you can kind of cheese enemies in the overworld. You obviously can't freeze really big bosses, but for, for in the overworld, like ruin guards or a lot of dangerous enemies, um, freeze can be really, really valuable for the early game. And it, it still is good late game, but there's just a different set of units that you're going to want to use. But early game, this is totally a super, like I'm actually having a ton of fun just freezing this guy and just sitting here freezing him. Like this is just such a fun reaction to do, to do making this guy mad. Oh, he's still chucking at me. Damn. The fully evolved form of this team is quite a bit different. You're going to want usually Ayaka or Ganyu here, a more AOE focused high off field hydro like Kakomi. You can still use Layla, but Rosaria, Kaya or Shenha for the secondary slot and Kazuo really is irreplaceable for the final slot. So freeze is a pretty expensive final form team, but the free to play options you get are perfectly fine for the overworld and really, really fun to play around with. I highly recommend you give them a try. It took me a second looking at this. I was like, what is this team? Next is the super conduct team. If you happen to get yourself an Ikea Favonia like me, you can try it out right here. This team, this, this team is actually quite good early game. It does fall off towards the abyss in the later floors, but for the early game and even later on, it is actually not too bad at all. So what you want to do is apply electro and then apply cryo. Um, that will give the super conduct reaction. So let's see here. So there it is. You saw super conduct. And when you get super conduct, it essentially reduces the um, resistance to physical by 40%. So it's a pretty big reduction to physical. And with between Kaya and Lisa, you can keep super conduct going pretty heavily. We have Lynette here um, just to do something because um, there's not really that many characters that you can use with super conduct here. There's no like off field physical DPS. If you happen to get Mika, he would be a good choice for this. Um, but Kaya's normal attacks are actually pretty good scaling for this. Obviously mine aren't leveled at all and he has no artifacts. So he's not doing any damage right now. Barbara's basically here just for healing. She doesn't have any innate synergy with super conduct. But the nice thing about her is that she it obviously is a healer and you are going to get some freezes. So the basic difference between this and a freeze team is you're just going to be mostly doing damage with normal attacks instead of with uh, instead of with cryo and you're going to be having some electro in here. And for this last slide, you don't need to have Lynette. You can have whoever you want. Wow, there's a chest here I haven't opened yet. Cool. The final version of super conduct comes from Eula. You can use Razor for the early game as well, but he doesn't scale nearly as well as Eula for the late game. Fischl is going to be one of the best choices. Raiden as well is really good. And some sort of defensive unit along with some sort of cryo battery or C6 Rosaria for that physical reduction. This is going to be kind of the final version of a super conduct team. But next is Aggravate, which is absolutely one of the strongest early teams that you can play. Now you don't have to use Kale. You can use the Dendro main character as well. The only, and ideally rather than Noel here, you're going to want to be using Fischl. But if you don't have Fischl, then Noel is a fine choice because she can set up that shield for your on-field character. And basically what you're going to get from this setup is just, you're going to get a pretty big amplification of your electro damage. Yikes. And a really big boost to this team will come when you can get Fischl because she synergizes with Aggravate extremely well. You'll ideally eventually want to replace Lynette with Kazuha or Sucrose, but you can actually leave Kali and Lisa here. They are both really great choices that scale totally fine into the late game, especially Kali actually, believe it or not. The only issue with this team is it doesn't really have a healer. So ideally, if you want more comfort, you're going to want to switch Kaizu Kali out for Yao Yao or for Kirara. And if you happen to get yourself a Kaching from the standard banner. She's going to be a nice upgrade over Lisa and Yamiko being even an upgrade after that, although definitely not a must pull for this team. Next is going to be an Electro Charge team. Electro Charge is actually not a good boss killing team. It's a better, it's a much better team for AOE focused encounters. So when you're just fighting mobs in the overworld and there's multiple characters, being able to get some Hydro on the enemy and then being able to get some Electro on the enemy and being able to swirl it with an animal character is going to allow you to do a lot, quite a lot of damage with transformative reactions. Obviously, we're getting these guys are infused with pyro, so they're getting overloaded. But there, now we're getting some electro charges. And if they're standing next to each other, if we were able to group them and get them closer, which I'm definitely not able to, then we're able to, uh, you know, 
amplify our damage quite a bit. And basically electro charge is going to pass through the different the two the multiple characters and you're going to get multiple swirls and different reactions which will increase your damage nicely. For upgrades to this team, there are quite a few different directions you can go, but the most important thing will be getting a strong grouping animal character such as Kazuha or probably most of the time even better, Sucrose. Getting Sing Cho as your hydro character and getting Fischl as an electro character along with something some kind of defensive option whether it be a really strong one like Kokomi for healing or even something like Beidou's shield to combine with Singcho can make for a really strong taser team or electro charge team and by having Sucrose on field you're going to be getting the most swirls possible and spreading electro charge across and in between all the enemies doing a ton of damage. The final team is a hyper bloom team. Hyper bloom for free to play it's not super good until you can get yourself a Singcho. This version of hyper bloom is pretty darn scuffed because you're going to be because you're going to be having to switch off and on characters pretty darn often. So for example, we'll have to switch to Kale to make some blooms, switch to um, switch to Lisa to activate these blooms. And you'll see we got the hyper bloom proc there. Um, and then back to and then back to Barbara to get more blooms. But it does get a lot better once you start getting a stronger Dendro character. I would actually recommend the Dendro main character for this spot. I know this is the Electro, but it should be the Dendro one. That way you have a stronger off field and more consistent off field presence. And then once you get someone like a Sing Cho, you can use him to to use be an off field hydro applicator and Lisa can proc the hyper blooms while being on field with her skill being able to hit in an AoE. Obviously the premier hyper bloom option is going to be Kuki or Raiden with this final slot being kind of whatever whatever you want. So here eventually Nahida will be the best and you could do Alhaitham or Yalan and make yourself a really excellent hyper bloom team down the road. Of course these are not all the teams in Genshin but I wanted to give you some ideas as you're starting out and just show you how many different teams that you can make as a new player just starting out like that was one two three four five six seven eight nine different teams which is pretty darn cool just from the characters that are absolutely free that's not including characters from the star glitter shop and other five stars that you may get of course when you get a five star that you really want to build check out my team building guides i'm going to have them for all new characters rerunning or coming out and so you'll always be able to find a great guide for your character let me know if you have any questions if you want help building teams definitely feel free to join our discord we would love to have you it's a great community if you want to support me we've gone full-time in the channel now so you can check out my patreon please consider subscribing we just passed 10,000 subscribers which is amazing thank you so much and if you don't want to do any of those things that is totally fine just watching the video has been more than enough thanks so much bye for now